Hello and welcome to Internship as the Project. My name is Vadim Michalenka and in this quick video I'd like to overview the requirements of what we're going to be doing as part of this uh, project. Uh, this document you're looking at is uh, you received from me as a copy. You may also get a link to the Google Docs version of this document. Um, first thing I'd like to overview the objective of the project. Our main objective is to create uh, how-to uh, tutorials and guides uh, that will help you to learn the products better, uh, get some excitement, uh, learn how to build tutorials and uh, some other information. And also they will help promote our program and promote our website. What you're looking at right now is uh, amitcitsupport.org. This is the website for IT computer support specialist program which you're part of and uh, which you will be doing internship for. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be uh, creating posts and writing articles which will be published in the news section of uh, the website. For example, we're looking at uh, one very good article on uh, how to repair mobile devices and for example, eight tips on how to select tools for mobile device disassembly, reassembly and repair. Uh, another article here is what to expect at an interview for your first IT support job. Another article here is how to repair smartphones, tablets, electronic devices, and you get the idea. All right, so let's dig deep and look into the first uh, article, for example, eight tips. The article here, or the post, as I call it in the WordPress, because that's the technology that we're using, uh, contains the picture, which is 900 pixels wide and uh, post contains obviously the the content so this is a pretty good post which um, is very valuable for people uh, to learn information and that's the focus of what we're going to be doing we'd like to take the topics an objective of our internship is to take seven different topics in the different areas and uh, write 500 to 700 word articles one article every two weeks select the picture and I'll show you later how the picture could be selected. Um, you can either take your own photograph related to this, you can take the screen print, or you can um, find the picture on a special website where we purchased uh, licensed pictures from an instructor and will be able to help you upload this as your featured image. So first thing you would need to do, you would need to review the document uh, and understand uh, what are the requirements of internship. Um, there are a couple guidelines of how online content can be created. So we have a total of seven tutorials that should be created by the student, right? Uh, in order for you to create seven tutorials, you would need to select seven topics. Um, these are the topic ideas, right? And uh, we're not limited to this specific um, set of ideas. We can also do some other ideas um, and this is where the last item come in. If you have any idea, uh, think that something valuable related to IT computer support that you know and would like to promote, this is a good opportunity to suggest a topic to the instructor. But for now what, what you are asked to do is you received uh, a link to the Google Docs file. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to go and um, navigate to Google Docs based on the email that you've received and I'm going to bring up the screen with Google Docs here. Uh, this is exactly the same document. For example, you are interested in selecting the topic. For example, you are excited about a productivity tool, one of which is Boomerang for Gmail and you write your name here. I'm going to write my name, Vadim Michalenka. All right. So this allows you to set this topic for yourself. Um, you know that uh, this topic will be assigned to you and nobody else will take it. And other students, because this is a shared document on Google Docs, will be able to see that this topic was assigned to you. I'm going to remove my name um, so it's not assigned to me and will be available to you for use. Uh, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to select one topic from each category. So for example, we have a category Windows how-to guides. So select one topic here. You don't have to. You can skip. There are plenty of categories, but make sure you select seven and one from each different category. Um, the idea here is that I'd like you to learn 
um, all the different uh, uh, categories and at least have something uh, from each. Um, some categories only have few topics. Um, so if you if they already selected by the students, uh, suggest something similar. Do a little bit of research and suggest something that's business related or consumer uh, productivity related or IT support related um, th that's relevant. And we'll add this topic. So make sure you do it soon because this is on the first come first serve basis. I'm listing through all the topics. Uh, do not overwrite other selections. So if you see somebody else's name in assigned to category, do not put your name here as well. I don't want to have duplicate topics. Once you selected seven topics, um, what you would need to do, you would need to log in into WordPress. And I'd like you to watch the video which I sent you, which is also the link to this video is right here. Um, and we can uh, go to this and watch it. And in that other video, you have instructions on how to manage your profile and publish posts. I'd like you to do research and start working on your first WordPress post. It's um, very easy. It's similar to Microsoft Word. Um, if you have troubles with images, don't get scared. Um, it's not very difficult. I'm going to publish a video on how you can take a screen print and uh, how you can resize the, uh, the image to make it 900 pixels width. A couple other important points I'd like to bring up is um, you would want to plan uh, your posts and have ev one post created every two weeks. As part of internship you need to work 96 hours and um, Every week, it means that you will work uh, probably uh, six to eight hours uh, if you want to successfully complete this internship. The objective is by the end of the semester for you to publish seven posts. Each post should be submitted using WordPress with all the pictures and videos included. And once you do the post, make sure to send an email to me. My email is uh, right here. Uh, Mikhail V at matc.edu and I'll uh, quickly process your post and it will be published. Another huge benefit uh, for you to have this as a post, if we go to the website matcitsupport.org, all of your articles will be published and I'm going to create a category here which will be called student portfolio. So we will have a student portfolio and for example uh, we have uh, student name under submenu of student portfolio and it will show all the posts that you've made. This is portfolio of uh, something that you'll be shared, uh, will be able to share with your potential employers and people will be able to find you online and see the quality of work that you did. So it's a great benefit of um, internet and um, this is something that will be uh, here and will promote your name and hopefully will help you get a quality employment uh, in the industry and uh, help jumpstart your career. A few other important things is um, you would like to uh, make sure that the content that you're writing is authentic. We cannot use any copyrighted materials. We cannot just copy and paste uh, information from the internet because uh, we will look at the plagiarism and uh, this is not something that we would like you to do. Um, so make sure it's authentic. Make sure you do the research. You can use ideas, but you cannot just copy word for word um, and um, expect that you will get a good grade uh, for your uh, content. Make sure this is something that's interesting and something that's entertaining. Take a look at the quality how-to guides, how-to tutorial, what makes it interesting. Um, I will create another video how to do videos uh, that you'll be able to share. Um, and uh, hopefully by reading the instructions here, I don't want to overwhelm you with this uh, first quick video, um, but uh, later on we will do um, how to do videos as well. This is something a little bit more challenging videos than just writing a blog post. 
I'm not requiring you to do videos but I'm hoping that this is something that you will have um, you will learn as part of your curiosity and interest and I will be here to support you hope you've enjoyed this video if you have any questions please uh, send me an email my email address is michalvi at matc.edu thank you